The question of the day and what we're asking you on Twitter this morning at Morning Live SABC. Uh, what do you think of the fact that activist Bongi Nkwazi Kanyile has been sentenced to three years house arrest following his role in the Fees Must Fall protest? That's, uh, that's the conversation we're wanting to tackle this morning. Let us know, as you saw, uh, finally, uh, the sentencing handed down yesterday and uh, the verdict, three years of house arrest. What do you think? You remember he was the, uh, one of the biggest activists when it came to the Fees Must Fall protests and uh, uh, the court saying that he does deserve that and uh, we'd like to know what you think. Do you, in fact, think that's lenient or do you think that that's uh, far too harsh on him or do you think that's justice served? So there we go. That's what we're asking you. Please do write to us. All right, let's have a look at the big stories that will be dominating the news headlines today. First up, former NPA prosecutor, you heard this in our news, Glennis Breitenbach, is expected to take the stand at the Mohoro Inquiry that is probing the fitness of advocates Mungobo Jiba and Lawrence Mkwebi to hold office. Uh, the Commission of Inquiry and carries on with uh, its uh, state capture inquiry. Uh, uh, Agritzi still uh, on the stand. Apparently, this is his last day, so we'll, uh, we'll watch on that one very closely in Park Town, Johannesburg. Fita Kupe, who is accused of killing seven members of the Koza family and Flakfontein, continues his bail application. And San Parks is expected to launch Project Ivory and Palabora Lumpopo. This is in response to a new wake of elephant poaching in the Kruger National Park. Let's move on to trending topics now. Dudu Mieni. And uh, when we get to the front pages of the newspapers, uh, you'll also see how she seems to be dominating those as well. Uh, all of this again after Agrizi accusing her of taking all sorts of bribes in big Louis Vuitton bags stuffed with 300,000 rand cash. Uh, the Commission of Inquiry was told yesterday, uh, also told how uh, she was the ticket to get closer to our former president, Jacob Zuma. In fact, uh, there was uh, a gritty saying that uh, Watson actually went and visited uh, president, former president Jacob Zuma himself and handed him cash. So, yeah, there were lots of allegations once again at the commission yesterday, and that's the, uh, the big trending one there when you look at uh, Dudu Mieni. Uh, Bushiri, we're going to be talking about that as well in the next hour. You saw that in the news bulletin, and uh, this is uh, something that I think is just, it's really becoming a huge problem in South Africa with all of these uh, different ministries popping up here and there and the things that are happening and the conditions that uh, that many of the, uh, the, the, the worshippers are going into and what they're forced to do. So uh, this is a big one and we've been following the Bushiri one quite closely. But in the next hour, in fact, we're going to be talking to Father Smangalisum Mkachwa, the chair of the Moral Regeneration Movement, and Sandile Swana from the Witt School of Governance, uh, just talking to us about you know, what's been going on lately when it comes to this uh, moral degeneration in South Africa and also just generally looking at uh, issues such as this. Bongi uh, Nkosi Kanile, that's our question of the day. Fees must fall, three years house arrest. We're asking you what you think of it. Uh, he was charged with public violence and failing to comply with a police order during the height of the 2016 nationwide student protest. So that's, uh, that's the question. Do you think it's enough or not? Uh, some of the comments in twit on Twitter, I'm just reading one here saying, it's sad that the dross rapist must be evaluated for raping and my brother is sentenced without evaluating why he was, why, why when he was destroying property, our constitution is not ours, black child. That's what uh, Siam Tanda is writing on Twitter. There's a lot of reaction to that. I'm just picking out one of them. Uh, then we've got Mercer Nottegrove. Now, he is, uh, he's trending here on Twitter. Uh, I think, again, for all of the, the very wrong reasons. So, uh, he uh, was fired by Man United. Now, uh, Maritzburg United, I beg your pardon, Man United, Maritzburg United. So uh, the PSL and SAFA uh, just uh, not happening. Uh, it's just not happening. So, and they're just uh, not not happy with the way he uh, is performing. And that's the end of Merson Autograd. So uh, if you want to comment on that, you're more than welcome to, uh, to give us uh, your views. And then, of course, there's this one, which is trending. It's called, Can Agritzi Tell Me? Can Agritzi Tell Me? Okay, let me click on this trend. And let me find out what it is that this is all about. I can't keep up with this. Um, <laughs> uh, people are 
people are just talking. Uh, can Agriti tell me why I am still not married when I am um, marriage material type of girl? <laughs> so this is everybody expecting uh, Agriti to give them the answers. Uh, yeah, there's that one. That's the one. Can Agriti tell me what the hell is going on here? Um, I think we'd all like that. Um, can Agriti tell me why Vodacom data depletes so fast? Um, and that, <laughs> another one. Um, is uh, can agree to tell me if Busase is also behind the 99 Rand debit order scam? Um, there's a whole host of them. You know what, South Africa and Twitter, I, I think it's a lot of people saying sometimes we don't deserve data because we are just hysterical. The things that we come out of here. I and mean, there's another one. Can agree tell me out of all the insects why we were taught about this one, the locust? I, st I still need to know as to when and why I will apply my knowledge to the. Um, I also agree with you. I always wondered why we were taught the body of the locust, the, the head, the thorax, the abdomen, and the legs. No idea. But I, I, you and me both. Maybe this is the moment we've been waiting for, uh, Sofiso. <laughs> so you and I can both now have a look, and maybe we'll get to ask Agriti why, why we learned about the body of the locust. Okay, there you go. It's always fun to be held on, on Twitter. That goes without say. But uh, Rob Byrne, let's get a traffic update.